Hi, this is Dr. Bertolo Meshko, the medical futurist. As part of my job, I analyze news about digital health, the future of medicine, and even artificial intelligence every single day. So I see a lot of exciting and interesting stuff. And then sometimes I come across things that are outright creepy and controversial. So I thought I would bring you the 10 creepiest medical technologies I've ever seen. Here they are. Number one, VR recreates a lost daughter. So this is exactly what happened. They recreated a daughter who died years ago for the mother in virtual reality. So the mother using a VR headset could check out the daughter's avatar or profile, which is so cringy, I can't even explain it to you. This is the perfect example what a technology might be capable of and still we shouldn't use technology for that sole purpose. Just watch the video and decide for yourself. Number two, the shocking smartwatch. For a few years, I've been testing hundreds of digital health gadgets and smartwatches, but there is one that stands out. It's called Pavlok. And I was shocked to learn that this smartwatch can give you a tiny shock to make you change your behavior. For example, if you have a bad habit like biting your fingernails, you can input it into the app of the smartwatch. And then from that time, whenever you again try to bite your fingernails, the smartwatch will detect it, the bad behavior, and it will give you a tiny shock to persuade you to stop that bad habit. I don't want to be shocked while changing my behavior. I want to feel like it's a, it's an, it's a positive process, the way I shape my lifestyle, the way I get suggestions and data from the sensors and smartwatches. I don't, I'm not looking forward to getting shocked. So, would you like to improve your sleep quality or stop yourself from doing and having bad habits by getting shocked by your smartwatch? Look it up yourself. I will have the link in the description. Number three, a robot taking your blood sample. I know it's a trick issue. I actually have no personal problems with the robot taking my blood sample, especially the one that you can see in the video. It was shown in a study that it's as efficient and as uh, precise as a nurse and it never has a bad day, it never goes out for a smoke, but okay. These robots won't replace nurses, it will improve their work environment and contribute to better patient care. Yet, for many people, seeing a robot putting a needle into their arm is just something out of this world and it's the most cringiest things for them. I understand that. It's a creepy medical technology, but at some point, because of doctor shortages, we will see robots taking blood samples, so get used to it. Number four, an RFID microchip under your skin. For those who have been following the medical futurists for a few years, you know the only video where we had to shut down the comment section was the video about implanting an RFID microchip under my skin. Mark of the beast. We have, we've had hundreds of comments about the mark of the beast. But uh, putting a microchip under your skin could sound like a, a creepy, controversial medical technology even though in some countries like Sweden, they have been thinking about experimenting with COVID vaccines and putting the COVID, COVID vaccine passport into an RFID microchip, while the microchip can also do other stuff like opening up passwords or garage doors, just like how microchips can operate. I get it, it's, it's something extraordinary, putting a technology under your skin, but I understand those biohackers who want to alter their body this way and still get some functionalities from the technology. Honey, I want to implant myself with no. a... Number five, the artificial womb. There are many medical technologies and stories that have been coming out of China, like you remember the CRISPR babies and how the, the scientist and physician behind that experiment uh, had to go to jail. But this one is one of the cringiest of all. Creating an artificial robot womb for artificial babies must sound like something out of science fiction, but that's what Chinese scientists have been working on. Scientists in China have created a robotic artificial intelligence system to monitor and care for human embryos growing in artificial wombs. The AI robot is being developed as a potential solution to population growth problems in the world's most populous country, with birth rates recently falling to their lowest level in six decades. 
The only thing I can comment here, no thank you. Please, no artificial intelligence system-based artificial robotic worms in our life. No thank you. Number six, CRISPR babies. Following the Chinese story, as I mentioned, a few years ago, a Chinese physician and scientist tried to edit the genome of twin babies. And those twin babies were born and they were resistant to HIV. This story makes absolutely no sense because even those having HIV infection can live their fullest lives due to the, the quality of healthcare we have today. Plus, if you edit the genome, can you imagine the potential, not just ethical and legal, but biological and medical consequences? We cannot. That's why the Chinese physician was in jail. Actually, he was released a few weeks ago, but he was in jail because of something unethical that he did. He experimented on patients. Number seven, advertising in our dreams. There are EEG-based headsets and even those headsets that you can put on before going to sleep and by using special ranges and amounts of light it would try to alter your dreams it would try to improve the quality of your dreams if we have such technologies in action today it's quite easy to just take one step further and imagine how much marketing managers and advertiser advertisers will jump onto the idea to be able to advertise in our dreams just like when in movies they could cut in tiny parts of advertisements to make sure that unconsciously the viewers start thinking about that product immediately, imagine the same thing happening in your dreams. Maybe some people will be able to sell time and space in their dreams to advertisers, but the whole idea sounds not just controversial, but something against the normal nature of humanity. Please, let's not allow advertisers to hunt our dreams. Number eight, falling in love with AI girlfriends. In my book, The Guide to the Future of Medicine, I talked about technosexuals, people who live with robotic dolls having artificial intelligence, and I understood their intention. But there's a new story about a man falling in love with an AI girlfriend, and he thinks this saved his marriage. A man who had been planning a divorce says his AI girlfriend has saved his marriage and believes the technology can help others with their relationship problems. That's not how it works. As saying this is a married, married man, AI girlfriends will not help save our marriages. We have to deal with each other, take care of our mental health issues, we have to communicate and talk with each other, and maybe use AI for other purposes, but not to cheat or falsely cheat on our spouses. Please don't do that. Number nine, telling a patient he would die through a telemedica robot. This is about a real story that took place even before the pandemic hit. A man was dying and his family had to be told about this. So what a good hospital does, they ask a physician being remotely present to go there to that family through a telemedical robot and tell them to the screen what's gonna happen to their loved one. No, that's not the one thing that should happen. That's really awful. That means there is no space and time for empathy and compassion. You cannot do this to, to deliver such an important message through a telemedical robot. And why would you do that? Anyone in person in that place would have been able to do that. It's a case of bad management simply, and uh, I think a chain of bad decisions. But, but this is real. Annalisia Wilharm said she never expected a doctor would deliver the bad news about her grandfather via a video screen on a robot. We are all with her. This should never happen, not even in the science fiction like far-fetched future. Number 10, selling the NFT of someone's x-ray online. You might think I made this last one up, but I didn't. This thing really took place in life. You may remember the, the terrorist attack in, in the Bataclan uh, bar in Paris? A French surgeon faces legal action after he tried to sell an X-ray of one of his patient's injuries as a digital artwork through NFT without her consent. So the attack took place, she got injured, she was taken to the hospital, she got an X-ray, and the doctor thought that X-ray could serve as an NFT he could capitalize on, and he just made it available through the NFT network. 
Can you imagine such things happening in real life? I couldn't, now I can. And that's why I think this list is useful. Because sometimes we come across, again, outright creepy and controversial stuff, but by discussing these, the legal, the ethical, the social consequences, we, what we do is we gradually prepare for the near future of medicine and healthcare, which is going to be full of advanced technologies, but let's avoid using them in those 10 ways. Thank you so much for watching, and I have to go to get my blood taken by a robot. If you like this video, please subscribe below, so you will get notified about all the videos we come up with. Plus, please check out the digitalhealthcourse.com, the platform where you can learn all the things around digital health and the future of healthcare.